Hi there, I'm Dirk Hogue of OnTheForkCheck.com, your number one source for Nashville Predators news and analysis. I'd like to welcome you to the new online video channel associated with the site. I think you'll find it makes a nice complement to our content and on the forecheck because sometimes, frankly, it's just easier to show you something rather than write about it. What I'd like to do today is take you on a tour of the website. I'll show you some of the features you can find there, as well as the content that you can expect to see on a day-to-day -day basis. So for now, let's head over and take a look. The front page of OnTheForeCheck.com. As you can see, it's a three-column layout, and I'd like to begin with the center column because that's where the bulk of the content is. What you'll find here are the 10 most recent articles posted, obviously with the most recent one at the top. Each time you'll see a couple paragraphs that get things rolling, and then you'll want to look for this Continue Reading This Post link. We call that the jump, and that'll take you to the rest of the article as well as the comments that people are leaving afterwards. Another feature we can look at here are reader polls. Oftentimes we'll toss a question out to the audience, look for your input, and you can click on the results and see how they're piling up in real time. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, after these 10 articles, we find links to the 10 previous ones that aren't quite on the main page, as well as a link to our full archive, which now has over five years of NHL and Nashville Predators content. If we flip over to the left-hand column now, we see the sections that the articles are fall under. Every Monday through Friday, for example, we start off with the breakfast links. That's your morning news and notes from around the league and the Nashville Predators community brought to you from the mainstream media outlets as well as prominent hockey blogs. During the season, for every game, we're going to have game previews, game recaps, and open game threads, which are members of the site come together and discuss the action in real time. If you're watching the game at home, it's a great way to follow along with your friends. Or even if you're at the game, you can use your mobile phone and log in via a browser and comment with other folks at the arena about what's going on. As we move further down, a great way to follow the site is using an RSS feed. If you use a tool like Google Reader to keep up with multiple websites, this link can be very useful. We also have a navigation box for all the different SB Nation blogs which are available covering all sorts of different sports. Whatever you're interested in, there's probably an SB Nation blog covering it and you can find it through here. Two other ways you can keep up with the action on the site are through my Twitter account, 4Checker. Every time an article is posted, a link will get sent out through there. Or if you use Facebook, we have a Facebook page set up. You can register there and again get notified and every time an article gets posted. If we head over to the right-hand column, we start off first with your option to sign into the website. You can register using the SB Nation protocol, or if you like, just go ahead and connect with Facebook. It's that easy. What we're seeing here is called the narrow view of the site, but if you have a widescreen monitor, feel free to click this button, and it'll widen that center column and just make better use of the real estate. As we move further down, one of my favorite aspects of OnTheForeCheck.com or any other SB Nation site is the fan post section. This is where registered members have the opportunity to post an article of their writing on whatever topic they like. If you want to talk about what's the biggest battle going to be in training camp, or do the Preds have realistic hopes that the team can compete for the Stanley Cup, go ahead and put it out there, get your voice heard, and you'll get feedback from the rest of the community. As you move further down, we also have an NHL.com video widget. Let's say you missed last night's Predators game and you want to catch the highlights, just come over here in the morning and you'll be able to get highlights from the most recent five games as well as all our featured videos from NHL.com. Lastly, I wanted to point out the fan shots section. This is similar to the fan posts above, but this is used for just a quick hit, a quick video, a photo, a link that you want to share with the rest of the community and let them know what's going on. the basic tour of OnTheForeCheck.com. I hope you enjoyed it. In coming days, I'll have more videos that get into some of the other features that allow you to interact with the site and get your voice heard. And also, we'll start to look ahead to the upcoming 2010-2011 regular season. I think there's a lot of reason for excitement here in Nashville about what the Predators have to offer. Until then, I'll see you later.